Motherwell paraded new Dutch signing Mitchell van der Gag at Hamden, due of course to meet up against fellow countryman Pierre van Hooydonk during the afternoon. And the big defender involved straight away, bringing down John Collins. He acknowledged the foul and referee Hewitt waved him away. Then a good chance for Alex McLeish's men, Jamie Dolan's free kick, Tommy Coyne with the header, but Pat Bonner saved well with Dougie Arnott closing in. Paul Lambert won't forget this embarrassing moment in a hurry. He got over the hoarding and the embarrassment. And then his own keeper, Stephen Woods, dealt well with Rudy Vata's dangerous cross. Then Celtic had a great chance and Woods again was on the spot to stop the danger. Walker picked out Van Hooydonk and the keeper did really well here. Van Hooydonk and Van de Gag engaged in a moment of double dutch. This was a match though in desperate need of a goal and within five minutes of the restart, Motherwell got the perfect opportunity to provide it with one. Vata judged to have felled Alex Burns. Up stepped Tommy Coyne and Motherwell were ahead. And that goal brought this game to life. Celtic had to push for an equaliser and Phil O'Donnell was only inches away from providing it. But as the home side pushed forward, they left gaps at the back and if Alex Burns had got a toe to this, the match would have been all but over. Celtic though continued to press for the leveller and Pierre van Hooydonk will be disappointed with this finish from just eight yards out. The big Dutchman was involved again moments later. He held off Brian Martin's challenge before releasing McLaughlin. But Woods saved well. But the goal Celtic's pressure merited was only delayed. Paul McStay released Rudy Vata and his near post cross was turned into the net by Andy Walker. A draw really suited neither side and both went looking for the winner. This cross found Alex Burns unmarked at the back post but his finish was off target. A chance all the same though. And then in injury time, Vata's deep cross fell to Brian McLaughlin, but his shot trundled agonizingly wide, and the match finished 1-1.